Pokemon Clover is a very interesting fan game that is under no circumstance meant to be played by children. Y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife. The worst starter for Pokemon Clover is the Zakbark. The gym leader scheme is based on the Kanto, so like Charizard struggles in Kanto, Lazak Bar struggles in Fuchun. Get it? Fuchun, 4chan, that's pretty fucking clever. Anyways, you struggle against almost all of the gyms. These include Brock, who can wipe the floor with you, even if you skip him. You only get dark and fire coverage, so you won't be able to hit him super effectively at all. You could skip him, but the next gym would be water. However, this is a little bit more interesting because you can actually stand a chance because the water type gym leader, Tumbl- Oh my god, I can't fucking- Tumblerita does not use water and psychic types. Now, Snoop is supposed to be the gym leader you have an advantage against, but you can't even be that effective. The reason why is because Snoop uses fire types along with grass types, which makes it a neutral matchup. Snoop even has a grass water Pokemon and a grass fighting type that can take out this fire starter, and you cannot one shot Snoop's ace. Now, you do do good against the Psychic Gym, and you can go even with Polk. But he does have a few Pokemon that could give you trouble. Finally, you don't stand a chance against Darude. You are only good against one Elite Four member, and that is the Ghost Type 1. Even then, the Ghost Type Elite Four member is kind of prepared if you were to pick this starter, because a few of his Pokemon can hit and destroy Lazak Bar or they can tank a hit and knock it out. When you verse the champion, you only have one good matchup. The rest of the team gives this Pokemon quite a bit of trouble. Also, the evil team leader Kimi has some Pokemon that could give you some trouble, but at the same time, the Zakbar has some good matchups. This Pokemon is the absolute worst because of its terrible gym leader and elite four matchups compared to the other two starters. To be honest though, this is a pretty average Pokemon and it even gets Aero Blast, aka Lugia signature move. So if you want to use it, go ahead. But for best team, it is not recommended for use. Condoom is in second place, but to be honest, it is not by a wide margin. If you were to pick this Pokemon, you would not want to be skipping the first gym at all. This will probably be the easiest gym you will face in this entire game. The water type gym gives you a bit of trouble because you have the secondary type of poison. The reason why this is an issue because some of the gym leader's Pokemon have psychic type moves. Obviously, you cannot do much against the electric type gym, but the grass type gym is a very interesting story. Condoom is half poison type, and that actually benefits it. It can take neutral hits from grass moves and resist the fire type moves, and destroy the opposing Pokemon with either super effective water type attacks or stab sludge bombs. Now, when you are facing Freddy in the next gym, you can forget about doing anything useful because you are way too slow and you will be crushed easily. Now, going on to Kanye, there's not much information about him on the wiki, but he does have a poison ground type, so that probably will kill you, but I think it is safe to say, like Kanye's presidential run, it will not end well. Now, let's talk about Hulk. Three out of his four fire type Pokemon 
have coverage that can destroy you. They either have ground moves or psychic coverage that just destroys poor little Condoom. Now, taking a deeper look at his Kuklon, it outspeeds and can knock you out with a super effective psychic attack. Pyrolink is slow, but you can't hit it for a super effective damage because it is part dragon, but it can hit you with a super effective earthquake. Now, you kinda go even with Darude, but I overall think it is a negative matchup. Their lead is a name that I cannot pronounce, but it is surprisingly fast and can knock you out with a stab ground type move. Darude even has an electric and steel type which you can't kill and a dark steel type with super effective ground coverage. The reason why you are better than Lazakbar is because you are neutral versus the Elite Four. You aren't great, but overall you aren't terrible. Before we talk about the champion though, let's talk about the leader of the evil team. When looking at the final battle, you have an advantage against two of their Pokemon, and you're not that bad in the first battle. Now, when looking at the champion, you are really, really bad. You only have one good matchup, and that is versus the first Pokemon. They do not have a single move that can even hit you for neutral damage. Besides that, you have mostly neutral matchups, but you can also have some bad matchups. This Pokemon does have Eruption though, which is pretty cool. So if you want to use it because of that, I do not blame you, but for best team, this Pokemon is not recommended for use. Rectream is definitely and still the best starter for Pokemon Clover. This Pokemon is really good so let's talk about it. Starting with Brock, you can destroy each and every one of his Pokemon because Grass Hole, yes, that's actually its name. Did I mention this game isn't for kids? Can hit you with super effective grass moves. The Water Gym is kind of interesting. While you technically have the type advantage, you really don't. Because almost all, if not all, of the gym leader's Pokemon has Ice Beam, and by this time, you will possibly, depending on how many levels you get, be a Grass and Ground type, so they will have a move that is four times super effective against you. Truthfully, it all comes down to if you outspeed them. The next gym, though, is a completely different story. While one of his Pokemon has Ice Beam, this will overall be a really easy win for you. Since you are half ground, you turn fighting Snoop from a bad matchup to a neutral matchup, especially if you are fully evolved by then. You can put in some work versus Freddy because he has a Steel Psychic and a Psychic Electric type. Also, if you keep Bite or even learn Crunch by then, you can definitely put in the work against this gym. Now, when looking at Kanye, while normally a Grass type would struggle against a Poison Gym Leader, you are part ground, so you will absolutely shred Kanye's team. Like Snoop's gym, you can actually put in some work against Polk. By this time, you will have a great stab move and high horsepower, so as long as you outspeed Polk's Pokemon, you can actually one-shot them. A lot of Polk's Pokemon are either slow or have a four times weakness to ground-type moves. Even though this is the fire-type gym, you have a positive matchup. When you face Darude, it is another strong matchup in Rectream's book. Now, looking at the evil team, you can destroy Sadfish, but that's about it. The rest of the matchups are pretty neutral for the most part. Now, when looking at the Elite Four, 
you actually aren't half bad if you learn Super Power before you enter, which is highly recommended. You can body two out of the four Elite Four members alone. Even when you verse the fighting type Elite Four, you can body half of their team based on your coverage alone. You can even be two out of the six members on the Ghost type Elite Four's team. Now let's talk about the champion. With your coverage and stab, you can be at least four of the members on this team. This is without a doubt the best starter for Pokemon Clover. For moves, I gave it Horn Leech, Earthquake, Superpower, and Crunch.